Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Actually, I was going to upload another video today, as you all know from yesterday, but it's just the timing to do a very more important video. So a lot of you guys are still asking me questions on, hey, I got a new Micron memory card, where's the BIOS mod? Or, hey, I got Micron memory, is it moddable? No, the card is not moddable. So if you have RX 470s or RX 480s with Micron memory, you can just return them because if you want to go ahead and mine Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, you will see that the card is useless because the timings of Micron are so limited that we cannot BIOS mod this memory type. So if you have Samsung, Alpid, or Hynix, you can just check them out on my channel. It's just totally fine. You can go ahead and BIOS mod those three types of uh, memories. But if you have a Micron card, you're just fucked because this one is totally useless. I don't think manufacturers know this, but the point is, there are so many types of memory because there's a lot of demand on the card. So they just stick in everything they have from manufacturers just to release their card. Because they just see, hey, I got money for it, but they don't look at the miners like us. They only look at the people that play the games. Micron memory is totally useless, so if you've got that, just send it back and hopefully you get a new one with Samsung LPDR Hynix. So hopefully this was really useful and one more time if you have Micron just send it back if you want to go ahead and mine Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. Hope you all enjoyed the video, see you guys in the next one.